So this is an example of a vertical volute uh, suspension system. So you will notice here this uh, vertical volute is uh, installed in a vertical way. So what happens is uh, when this uh, tank is moving in an even ground, the suspension is going to move like this and this spring is going to move like this to compensate for any mechanical vibration. So in this uh, vertical volute system, uh, there are two vertical volute that was installed in this assembly. So this one is going to move like this. So most of the earlier uh, variant of your Sherman incorporates this uh, vertical volute system. The problem with the uh, vertical volute uh, suspension system is it only allows the tank to make use of a narrow track. You'll see this, this is only 16 inch width. So vertical volute the suspension system only allows a tank to have a 16 inch uh, wide uh, track. So it's very narrow. Uh, the problem with this is when the, mo the tank is moving on uh, snow or uh, soft ground, muddy soil, and it, it's not uh, and it's not stable. So this is an example of uh, horizontal volute. You notice that the the spring is uh, installed in a horizontal way. So what happened is. When the tank is moving in an even ground, this bogey system is going to move uh, like this. And all the mechanical vibration is being absorbed by this the spring. This spring will be compressing like this. You'll notice here, they call this the bolliot because this is a cylindrical spring. It wraps in this manner and is clockwise. The advantage of uh, horizontal volume is that it allows for the installation of uh, a wider track. You'll notice here, this track is uh, about 23.5 inches or almost 2 feet. This uh, wide uh, track allows the tank to move on, on snow as well as on soft ground and uh, muddy soil. Notice here this uh, wheel is covered with uh, rubber as well as the, the return wheel covered with rubber and then this part of the track is also covered with rubber so it's going to improve a smooth ride for the crew inside this tank.